We are here in the Florida Keys. In particular, we are located in the Middle Keys right here on Big Pine. Big Pine is the area for the key deer and all that good stuff. We're staying at our friend's house right behind us, and we're about to get on the water day three of our adventure. That's right, Justin. If you have missed those videos, make sure you take a look at them. We'll link them down below because we have been killing it with tarpon and all kinds of great fish. Yes. Now today we're taking you bone fishing, and this is something we've never done before on our own boat. We've never caught a bone fish. It's been a goal of mine for years to actually catch one on my own boat, so hopefully today is that day. Right, all right. So the tide's moving the way we like it, sun's coming up, we're gonna grab our bait, and we gotta get right out there, so uh, let's go. We just got the anchor thrown over. We just took a run about a few miles away, and we're gonna try to set up our bonefish here. I think this is a good area. We've got some nice sand on the bottom mixed in with grass, so we're gonna get set up and get lines out and get our shrimp chum in the water. That's key to success with bone fishing. Yes, we're not fly fishing for bonefish. We're shrimp and jig fishing. Easiest cause, kind. Cause we don't want to bore you guys to death home around the ocean while we don't catch a bone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I've got like, yeah, we already got dead shrimp from the live well. We've got live shrimp with us, but this is what you want. You don't want to use any other chum. Don't use block chum. Don't use anything like that. We've learned our lesson before. A couple years ago, hooked a bonefish. Oh my God! Oh my God! No, 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 we got him! Get that line, get that line! And the shark got it because we had real block chum out. Um, so here we go. We're gonna break them up so we get the smell in the water. And we're just gonna start spreading them all around the boat. Hopefully attract the fish right over here. Now the other, the other place we tried this with our friends who taught us how to do this, is we had more of a sand strip and it was more in the back country and you can kind of see the bonefish coming across the sand strip and you can ca sight catch them, but otherwise you just catch a lot of sharks. Yeah, it's a little different. So it's the first time we tried this out front, we did just out front in the ocean in about two or three feet of water, out front of Big Pine Key, more or less. We still have some sandy patches. Yeah, and uh, um, we also have some great videos of bonefishing for Darcy and Andros and and with, this, and with Kevin, so yeah. you can check those out too. I'll put some B-roll here, but we had, we had great days, but we really want to do it on our own boat. That's what this channel is about, is catching fish on our own boat, right Sizzle? Yes, 95% of the fish we catch are on our own boats. We have two boats. What do you mean? I just said boats. What, what, about, boats. what did you say about 5%? I would say 95% of our fish caught is on our own boat. Yes, 95%. Yes. That's the, that's how, that's, that's what we like to do, catch our own fish. That's correct. And showing girls that they catch fish. And this video is brought to you dream. by Lanch Hog Lager. Following our dream, baby. Following your dream. Something on. You're on? Something on there. Oh. Oh. Nope. Nice. What do we got? Might be a sharky. All right. First fish. We got a fish on, Might baby. Might be a shark. We're going to see. We are going to see. Got a little breezy, so the water yeah, clarity is down a little bit. It's a shark. All right, the normal bycatch of doing this. Yes. Don't we just grab him? Got to break the skunk off. Yeah, I think he's hooked actually perfectly. These little sharks. Is the bonnet head? Yeah. Just watch his flip, like he can get it's back gonna, and it's bite you. get me you. all wet. Grab the line so he doesn't slip back and bite you. Oh, he's hooked real good. Yeah, he's hooked real good. Just flip him in. No, I feel like he's gonna break it. Come on. Woo! He's being a real jerk, or I'm being a baby one or the other. <laughs> I don't want to. Oh! All right, flip him in. There you go. There all right, you all right, all right. There you go. <laughs> that was easy. Yes. Let me open the bail. Okay. All right. All right, that's a decent sized one. Full grown, sharky. That is a full grown bonnet head shark. That's a nice one. Yeah. Don't get much bigger than that. All right, I gotta grab his head. You're being a baby. There you go. Yeah, his tail doesn't whip you. That tail will whip you. He's strong. Yeah, he's a little baby. Yeah, that nice. tail whips hard. And they feel like sandpaper when you touch them. You see all the little dots, little shovel nose there member of the hammerhead species, uh, but not a hammerhead, not a baby, not a baby hammerhead at all. Shovel nose, I mean, sorry, on ahead. Don't get bit much bigger than that. Let's go ahead and pop that hook out. Yeah. See those wicked teeth right there. Yeah. They're not too crazy though, because he's a little guy. 
Perfect. All right. All right, let's let him go. All right, dude. Let him revive for a second. He'll take off. He's not swimming, babe. He was just flipping until I put him back in the water. There he goes. <laughs> Jeez. What the heck? He played dead. He literally played dead. Like, I don't, like, that was wild. Like, I, like we didn't have him in the water long at all. Let's quickly talk yeah. to you guys about him. Dropped him back in, but then he just took off. Yeah. Cool. Well, there's no current here and I don't know, whatever. We are not doing great with the luck of the bonefish for us today. Where'd that guy go? He's gone. Got a fish? I got a shark. I'm trying time to keep something. it away from him, but it's a big one. That's what she said. He is a big one. Not to me, but whoa. It's a big That's one. That's the biggest bond that I've seen. You got away my camera. There you go. Another one. Well, at least the chum was attracting something. Yes. You're making him so mad. He's very mad. We're gonna pick him up or we're gonna just flip him? He just headbutted the boat. You're gonna bonnet hit, that's a bonnet head of them. Yeah. You're gonna flip him or you're gonna grab his tail? I guess flip him. If we grab his tail, we have a better chance of uh, what? getting bit and making a better video. I don't wanna get bit. No. You grab his tail. That's what she said. All right. You gotta be careful. Careful? You be careful. Yeah. Oh my God! I didn't, I you I didn't have to be you. careful. I told you. Jesus! I he told has a... you they turn right around and grab you. Holy moly! Did you guys yeah. see that? Yeah, that was wild. That was. They're a... just like a lemon shark. A lemon shark can turn on a dime and bite you if you grab their tail. And so now you just gotta lock their head down. But we're gonna get rid of them. I didn't really grab him high enough. You gotta get his head. Lock know, his head. I know. I know. I know. I know. He's so strong. They're so strong. All right. All right. All right. It's crazy strong. All right. All right. I'm gonna get up here. Yeah. All right. Now he's subdued. Good job. We'll hop it real fast and let him go. That's what she said. <laughs> what <laughs> the dog you said on our first date. Oh! What I'm the sorry. Heck? Gotta, we're not catching any fish. I gotta make my dumb jokes. That's what Brian just says all day long. Woo! That's a big one. Woo! That's not what you said on our first date, but whatever. Oh my god. Get in the video. It's a th thumbnail. <laughs> All right. Oh, hey. <laughs> that was weird. He gone. All oh. right. Cool. Hopefully he leaves us alone, alone. And I'm just gonna keep fishing. I'm not giving up, man. We're gonna do the re we're gonna re redo the intro. This is a bonnethead fishing adventure. Yeah. We're gonna catch and cook a baby hammerhead. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Literally just kidding. I don't know if you mentioned it, but these are these bonnetheads are in the hammerhead family which includes the greater hammerhead, which is the one everyone thinks of when they think of a hammerhead. Yep. This is a bonnet head, not a baby greater hammerhead, which all the Googans on Facebook would say. Yes. Baby So shark. that's that story. So, but anyways, you, you know, if you, but if you come out here with the kids and uh, you want to catch some fish, I mean, this will catch fish. Just, I mean, you might not catch a bonefish because like, we're not going to catch a bonefish maybe, but um, <laughs> whatever. Yeah. So like when you watch it, you can actually just do it right in here. Look at this. this I mean, it's kind of cool. Look. <laughs> You're like, didn't believe me. No, I believe you. Jesus. But... Like, literally almost got bit. All right. In our defense, I want to mention that there's a guy right over there, another guy right over here. And someone else told us to fish here or near here. And we saw the guys out here before. So, I mean, I think we're in the right area. When I'm not catching a bonefish, you know, that happens, but. We, we are in the right area. Definitely in a good area. Yeah. I think I Battery's got something. Battery's too low. Woo! Battery's too low. All right, whoa, got something. All right, hooked up again. It feels like a little shark that like we've been catching. <laughs> <laughs> we are in the right area, though. Yeah, guy just push-pulled right past us, so I, there's gotta be fish here. Yeah, no, there's, there's definitely fish. Is this a matter of us catching them and getting on our hook? Yeah, I don't know. There he is on this side. Come over here. Do a jump. Do a jump. 
Jump it, jump it. Oh, no, he's coming back this way. Oh, jump. Oh, no. Maybe, maybe turn your butt a little bit. With... Sorry, I was trying to get my line up. <laughs> All right, Again. do you need help with your baby shark? I don't want to listen in the comments. I don't want to hear 500, ooh, baby, shark, shark, shark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I literally have almost saying that like three oh, times. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> All right, no, I think I can handle them. You think, you think? Yeah. Woo, this Whoa. is a little jump. Woo. He's so flippy. This is a shark charter. Shark charter. In the Florida Keys. But I'm, what, I, again, the point, one point is that if we don't say we fail on these bonefish, like you can take your kids out and, and do this and you catch these fish and if you have kids that are like whatever age, they'll be happy as a pig and whatever. Nice job. Get to, maybe, you didn't open your bail. All right. Yep. Yeah, maybe you get to get it out of them so I don't. Okay. I'm going to okay. do it faster and I won't get whipped, my, my tail will get whipped. Nice. Perfect. All right, you want to hold them right behind the gills like that. All right. All right. So you can control them. I mean, I, yeah, I don't know what else we can do here. We got our chum out, shrimp chum, we're fishing. I'm then actively fishing, looking for fish. We've seen barracudas, bonnet heads, nurse sharks, and something else, but I wasn't 100% sure what species it was. So a bunch of sand perch yesterday, so you can catch those. Yeah. A lot of times there's a million mangroves, like barely keepers, but you can catch them, so whatever. Yeah. It's only a matter of time it's gonna happen. We're just living the dream. I think we're in the right spot because a bunch of other boats around us, but whatever. Show you the rig we're using. Yeah. Go ahead, Cecil. All right, we're using a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. And then tied to that is the uni knot to our yellow tail jig hook. That's what they're called. You can buy these in like all the local tackle shops down here. Pretty simple. And what I did is just pinch off the tail of a live shrimp, just like that. Throw it in the water. Now the piece that I'm keeping is a larger piece. You stick your hook through the meat side that you just ripped off, and then I try to work it as far as I can up the shrimp, and then have the point come out the top of the shrimp. And then I try to shove the hook back inside them. And that's the presentation. You want that to sit right on the bottom. That's where the bonefish is gonna eat it. All right. Pretty simple. And what are you using a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader? Yes, I did say that. Port is oh, 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. You need to uni knot here. It's about a four foot long, and then to our 20 pound braid mainline on the reel. All right. Right there. And that's the Akuma SRT Elite Inshore Special Super Beautiful Rod. Yes, the, yes, exactly. <laughs> and then paired with Shimano Van Ford. Nice. But yeah, pretty nice light tackle setup for bonefish, honestly. Yeah. This works. There we go. We are kings of bonnet head sharks. Bonnet king and queen today. <laughs> Let me get mine in quick. Yeah. Woo! Flip him in. He's a flipper. Whoa, that's a nice jump. Woo! They're so flippy. Don't let him flip that out of the boat. Nope. Okay. All right, I'm gonna, get him, I'm gonna let him go fast because you can't eat them. But they also die pretty quick, so you gotta get them right going out there. All right, let's get your sizzle. All right, here we go. All right, guys, we got our boat in off. The, I mean, off the water. Today's our last day here, so we're gonna go ahead and fillet up some mangroves that we caught. Not today, but <laughs> might as well get them done and cleaned up. We're here in the Florida Keys, and on this property, we're walking right to the water here, so we can take care of them. Yeah, they actually don't have a uh, a table here to clean them, so. I set up a little thing down here on the rocks for Darcy's sizzle. Pretty I was cool. thinking, actually, Darcy, it might be easiest if you just stood there and did it on this flat part here. Like, stand right there, like your feet are in the water a little bit. Nice. So just stand like right there. Perfect, okay. And we gotta do it before this rain. Yeah, I know. Crap. Okay. And 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 I, I also wanna give a big shout out because we've been taking some trips lately, hauling our boat all over to Key Largo on a day trip and other things all the way down to the Keys. And it's really been a pleasure. Uh, you know, thanks to our Road King trailer. So we got a big, big shout out to our sponsor, Road King Trailers. Yes. And the Darcy has also deal with South Florida Ford. And so the, the F-250, we just have, we just have, we're just so comfortable and we can do anything we want. Am I right or wrong? It's pretty awesome. We like feel so good about it. Like we're yeah, not like, stressed and all this stuff. Yeah. Like I've, you know, I've always been like a not a new car guy. And this, I didn't buy a new, I bought it used, but you know, always kind of, I finally, you know, treated myself a little bit. And you know, I bought the truck. And we sponsored on the trail, so it's been a pleasure. So, so thanks for those guys. All right, so I'm starting to scale these mangroves. I'm using my bait breaker knife because I don't have my fancy scaler with me that you guys got me. It's working. 
I mean, I just don't have the hang of it yet. I don't do this too often. You gotta do it to the side. What do you mean? You're going with the, the flow You can also scales. use a spoon, yeah. Yeah, this is an awesome little bait breaker knife. This thing lives on the boat, four inch bait breaker. I'll link it down below in the Amazon store. But yeah. it's got like a gut hook on it. It's got the uh, serrated edge for gutting the fish with, I mean, sorry, scaling the fish. And then you got the, the uh, sharp side. Yeah. So what we're gonna do here, uh, I'm gonna finish scaling them, of course. Should I finish scaling them or gut them first? You care? Oh, I think you usually gut them first. I think, I think you scale them first. I don't yeah. know, we don't do this a lot. All right, I'll just finish scaling then. Yeah. And then we'll cut. I'm gonna cook. I'm gonna cook them whole on the barbecue. All right, you, you gotta use an elbow grease sizzle. Okay, you got, these things should be flying everywhere. I used to I used to do some commercial gill netting with my dad back in the days, and we used to, this is how you, you used to do it. So you gotta use elbow grease. That is See? like even cutting through the skin. That's crazy. Well, you got you're sc scraping the skin, yeah. But you gotta you know you gotta get in there. You can't be a little girl about it. All right. I know, I have a bad cut in my one hand. Oh, oh, oh. I don't want and this it. isn't the greatest tool, no, but it's what we have, and so we're using- But it's working. Yeah, we're doing a DI, do it, do it yourself. Yeah. And you can also use a spoon for this, I'm told. All right, so you gotta use your elbow grease, yeah. All right. All right. There we go. Good enough. Close enough. All right, now we're gonna gut them, and we're gonna go through the anal opening, use the sharp side of the blade, all the way down. Nice. There you go. All right, and then I'm just gonna get my fingers in there and pull out the guts. There we go. Nice. All right, and then you guys get the gist of it, but I'm gonna clean them up inside the water and get this nice and cleaned up with the salt water, Let's best thing for it. I wanna see and you do it in the water. It'll be all good. Good to go. You wanna get his gills out too? No, you don't have to, I don't think, do you? Yeah. He's pretty clean. Yeah, nice. All right, we're, gonna, we're just gonna gill him right here too. Yeah, might as well get it out. Might as well. The last thing everybody Cut removes. the whole head off if you want. Cut the head off. I don't care, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna eat his eyeballs. All right. Right? Yeah, no, I'm okay. just kidding, just kidding. There you go, now he's nice, now it's a clean, there you go. That's now he's good. ready for the barbecue. Yes, that's what the commercial guys do. Got him. He's ready. Nice. All right, you guys always tell us how to cook fish whole. We're going to cook them whole. Let's do it. All right, let me finish up the other two before it starts raining. <laughs> yes. Ah. Welcome, guys, to another edition of Cooking with Putin, your favorite part of the show. Thanks again, Dar Sizzle, for cleaning up those fish for us. And I got a nice, simple whole fish recipe for you guys today. We're actually back at the house. I don't know if you guys noticed. But um, we came back from the Keys, and so we got some, brought these fish home with us for a nice Memorial Day weekend barbecue. But before I get to the fish, they look delicious. Get, get that camera on those, Darcy. Look at that. Look at that. These are herbs from Darcy's Garden. But real quick, I just want to thank Landshark Lager for sponsoring all, all our travel trips. So thank you so much. And also South Florida Ford and Roking Trailers just made the trip, the trailering, the travel, driving back and forth. just anxiety and stress free, so thanks so much. So with the fish, you saw Darcy cleaned it up, she gutted it and and gilled it actually, right? So I, from that point on, uh, very simple, the fish whole on the grill like you guys always ask me to do. First I coated it with olive oil. You could also do butter, I, I do that a lot too. So coated it with olive oil, salt and pepper on the inside and the outside. And then we got some nice uh, herbs from Darcy's beautiful what I call the ghetto garden, of course. I got some, stuck some parsley in there and I use limes, key limes, cause we're just in the keys. So instead of lemons, I use limes today. And and then we're pretty much all set. I'll sprinkle a little bit of, uh, these, what do they call these things, our sizzle? Garlic chives. Garlic chives, a little garlic chives on top, just for a little garnish, chop those up real quick. And now we're all set, we're at the barbecue. Kind of like a medium high heat. And we're just gonna place these right on there. Now one of them I also scored I wanted to see how that would work. Okay, so look, they're right on the barbecue, right on the pan, and I also, what I like to do, I got some butter pats, so we're just gonna maybe put a couple butter pats on here. That's not gonna hurt, right? Now the trick to not, that these not sticking to the pan, 
is that we're going to let them sit for a little bit. Okay, we're not going to keep moving them around. Two or three minutes on there, four minutes, and uh, we're going to see how they're doing. All right, guys, it's been five minutes. Quick check. I'll see if it's sticking. I'm just going to stick this fork between these tines. And that side does look like it's cooked. I got to get this camera closer. Darcy's inside. This one's stuck a little bit. And we're ready to plate. Woo, looks good. Cool. Scissors got in close. Look at this. I can put this one to the side. I'll put this one, I put a little extra butter on there during the cooking process. Look at that sizzle. Are you excited? Yeah. All right. Beautiful. All right, Dr. Sizzle, let's hear the taste test. <laughs> we might have already taste tested. We may have. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> you, know, you guys tell me to do this all the time. And we just don't, but this is it, keeping the skin on and cooking the whole fish. It really locks in all the flavor and all the juices. Yeah. Which and you know things in the barbecue can really dry out fast. Mm -hmm. And this is the one we scored. So what do you think? So good. What do you think is better, the scored one or the non-scored one? Scored one. Really? Definitely. Yeah. Because the butter. Yeah, you can you can taste a lot more butter and stuff. Oh really? This kid is like literally my favorite part right now. Well, that's like the idea. In. So I guess we're gonna be doing this more often, kids. Let me test. I think you're right, Dar Sizzle. That's good. Watch bones. I know. That section. I yes. got a big one. Okay, so that is better. Besides the bone thing, you gotta be careful because I'm like always scared with my teeth and stuff. I don't have like the greatest gums and teeth in the world, so I gotta be careful with bones. But besides that, it's amazing. Like I'll I, stop eating. Like it's really <laughs> good. Like we just we devoured the other fish already yes. <laughs> before we even started filming. And Brian's like, we gotta film. What are we doing? <laughs> so it's that good. Like it's amazing and like it's just so succulent and uh, succulent like flowers. Yes. All right, let's sign off. <laughs> like the pineapples are succulents. Okay. So a great. Hope, hope you guys make sure you guys watch all the videos in the series one, two, and three. Put all the uh, links down below. Yes. And uh, that's it. Yep, and everything we use in cooking and fishing will be on the Amazon store link down below. Check that out too. And um, until our next adventure, follow Bye your dreams, dreams and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. Cheers.